Hi everyone, thanks for joining me back here on my channel. May is Skin Cancer Awareness Month and with the summer months just around the corner, today I wanted to share with you guys some of my sun protection favorites. Protecting your skin from the sun not only prevents fine lines, wrinkles, sunspots, freckles, hyperpigmentation, but it also helps prevent skin cancer. And as I get older, I am becoming more aware of the importance of sun care, and protecting our skin from the sun is the number one way to maintain an even skin tone as well as keep our skin looking youthful. And I'm gonna start off with a new favorite sunscreen of mine. I have pretty sensitive skin and chemically sensitive as well. Asian skin tend to be a little bit more chemically sensitive than other types of skin. And I find that I fall into that category. I have been trying lots of different sunscreens over the last several years. And as much as I love chemical sunscreens because they absorb really well and they don't leave a white cast, I'm finding that they're leaving little irritations and bumps all over my skin, which I'm not super excited about and I found a sunscreen recently that I am really loving and that is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Face Shield in Glow and this has SPF 50 and it's chemical free 100% mineral which that has been a game changer for me it protects from UVA UVB pollution blue light and IR. They have a regular one, they have a glow version as well as a bronze, and I am just really loving the glow. It has a really nice glowy shimmery highlight to it, and when I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm just drawn to wearing it more because it makes my skin look really glowy and youthful on top of protecting my skin. So I'll show you guys here. I have it on under my makeup. I find that it looks beautiful under makeup. This product can be a little bit difficult to spread, so I always find that it applies best right after applying my moisturizer in the morning, which I love because I have more dry skin, so I like being able to apply my moisturizer and then my sunscreen. With some chemical sunscreens and other sunscreens in general, I find that it can be a little bit too greasy and I will tend to not moisturize, but even though the sunscreen is greasy, it doesn't necessarily hydrate my skin. So I love that I can hydrate my skin and then apply this right over. The sunscreen retails for $39, which I think is a really fair price for everything that it does and for it being chemical free. I am also really excited to try the bronze version. So I will let you guys know, probably on my Instagram, how I like the bronze version. But the glow, I've been really, obsessed. I've been reapplying it multiple times throughout the day and I just love the way my skin looks just with this alone. Definitely give this one a try you guys for this summer. Let me know what you think. The next product I have is also by Color Science and this is their Total Protection Brush On Shield. This product also has an SPF of 50 and it's basically a setting powder but that has sunscreen in it. I am so excited I found this product. I've been also really liking it. I used it to set my makeup. I think it's a great option to reapply sunscreen if you already have your makeup on. A lot of sunscreen require that you reapply every hour to two hours for it to be effective, which is really hard to do if you've already done your makeup. And I feel like this has answered all of my prayers, my sunscreen prayers, when it comes to reapplying. I already have some on, but usually what I do is I tap it upside down on a hard surface, which pushes the powder through the bristles. You push this down, then you just apply. I tend to get my freckles and sunspots here on my cheeks. So that's where I like to concentrate most of my sunscreen and then just apply wherever else I need it. I didn't notice that it breaks up my makeup. I didn't notice any negative effects to my makeup. 
I have been really, really loving this. So the brush on Shield is a little bit pricey in my opinion. It's $65, but I would still purchase it again and again because of the ability to just reapply sunscreen even when you have makeup on. Um, I think it's definitely worth it. I actually got mine in a three pack bundle. So usually it's $65, but I got all three for $130, which comes out to about $43 ish dollars per piece. So I thought that was a really good deal. I got all of my color science products from an online store called skinstore.com. I find that color science products are a little bit harder to find, like, Actually, they, I don't even think they sell it and at Sephora or Ulta or places like that. Usually you can find them at like dermatologist counters, um, medical stores, things like that, which are difficult to access in my opinion if you don't go to a dermatologist or a spa regularly. So the skinstore.com is a really great place that you can purchase Color Science products and you know that they're authentic and that you're gonna get the true product. I'm always a little bit hesitant even though I love Amazon to purchase skincare products from them just because I don't know if it's being tampered with, I don't know how long it's in, been in the warehouse um, and I know there have been um, a lot of knockoffs and you know, products that claim to be authentic that are sold on Amazon. And I am super excited to tell you guys that Skin Store is helping me give away one three pack bundle of the Color Science Brush on Shield to one of my lucky subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel as well as my Instagram. And uh, please leave a comment below with your Instagram handle and why you would want this product. And we will send one of my lucky subscribers a three pack. Also, I should mention that the Brush on Shield comes in a few different tones and I am in the shade medium. I like that it's tailored to sensitive skin like mine. So I am beyond excited that I get to give one of those away to you guys. So visit the skin store if you guys would like to check it out for yourselves. Um, this has been kind of my new holy grail product that I'm really excited to share with you guys. Okay, so let me calm down a little bit because <laughs> when I like something and when I get excited, I get excited. I'm very enthusiastic about things that I like. Okay, so next, let me share with you guys a sunscreen that I like to use on my body and as well as on my kids. I've talked about this in a video in the past uh, probably like a year or so ago. This is the Think Baby SPF 50 sunscreen. This also is a mineral sunscreen. It's very safe and healthy for kids and babies. It's also very moisturizing and the white cast blends out easily, especially on my kids' really tan skin. I think that when you have tanner, darker skin tones, sunscreen is even more uh, obvious the white cast and I like that this blends in really nicely even though that it's a mineral sunscreen I really like this I love the smell of it and um, it's gentle if you are looking for a sunscreen that's for your body that's safe it's mineral based and for your kids I would definitely check this out I got mine from Target and yeah I really like this for body and for kids all right next I have sunglasses these are my new Gucci sunglasses that I got over Christmas and I just really love them. In order to protect your eyes from the sun, I think it's very important to find sunglasses that fit your face and that are comfortable. My issue with sunglasses is I have um, a tiny nose, a little nose, and then I have really high cheekbones. And so it's really hard for me to find a style of sunglasses that rests on my nose and not on my cheeks. I don't know if this has like a specific name, but the code is GG0416SK. I'll put that right here if you guys wanna Google it or check it out. I have been looking for uh, a plastic frame sunglasses like this that have a nose grip and this is probably one of the only pairs that I found um, that not only is classic and goes with everything but is comfortable for my face type. I love it. 
What do you guys think? Yeah. So I wanted to share that. And then next is hats and visors. Really, they're visors. So on top of me having high cheekbones, um, I also have a larger head than normal. <laughs> It's not a bad thing. It's just facts, right? And I find it hard to find hats that fit my head, that don't give me a headache, um, that feel comfortable. And so my sort of like hack around that are like visors. I find that visors are so much more comfortable and they do, sorry, and they do a really great job. So this is one that I actually got from Forever 21, believe it or not. And I like this for when I am working out or like on a hike or doing something active outdoors. I think it's super cute. I usually put my hair in like a pony and yeah. And I don't have to worry about, you know, hats fitting my whole head because this is very customizable. This is really stretchy. This also has like a little sponge part here in the front, which is really comfortable. So if you have a similar problem like I do and um, find it hard to find hats that fit your head, I would definitely recommend visors. And visors are cool. They're in now. <laughs> I am debating if I should get, you know, one of those like face shield ones, the, like the real hardcore Asian moms use. That's what I want next. <laughs> but for now, this is like my transitional visor. <laughs> I found similar ones on Amazon, but I got this one from Forever 21. And then next, I, you know, it's not very helpful because I can't tell you what store I got this from because I found this at a fair and found this at one of the stands and I really liked it. It's super comfy, super cute, goes with a lot of things and it's you know a wide brimmed all the way around. So this is kind of what I use when I go to the beach or am in like full sun exposure and want to keep myself uh, protected from the sun. It's also very comfortable. Sometimes hats get hot and that's another reason why I like these visor style hats because it's breathable and it's just really like wrapped around your forehead. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out hats or visors like this that are comfortable for you if you have a big head like I do. <laughs> Just kidding. Even if you don't have a big head, um, I think visors are great. And the last thing I have to share with you guys is I noticed that the concentration of my sunspots are on my left side. And I think, theorize, it's a theory, <laughs> I think that it's because of the driver's side window. And I don't think your front windows are actually even allowed to be tinted. So that um, causes for a lot of um, sun exposure when you're driving a lot. So to protect myself while I'm in the car, I got one of these little sun shields. I like them because at night you can just take it down and some days when it's cloudy I don't need it but when it's really sunny and you know that like really hot like beaming where it like heats up your skin while you're driving kind of sun that's when I like to use these most um, I this came in a pack of four I also got it from Amazon <laughs> and um, there here's one that's like a little bit more transparent and this one has like total protection and I just stick it next to my driver's side window and I have them on my kids' windows too for extra protection. Uh, but I just, I like these because they're easy to take on and off. Um, you know, when I want to roll down my window to grab a ticket for parking or anything like that, it's easy to just take on and off. So I would recommend something like this to protect yourself while you're driving. I think uh, we don't realize how much sun exposure we get in the car. And so these have been really helpful. I've had these for about a year and I feel like they've made a big difference in my sunspots on especially this side so that is it for the video today you guys i hope you learned something i hope you got some great recommendations i was really excited to do this video because of all the products that i mentioned they have been like my holy grail in the past couple of months um or years so i hope you guys have a great day keep your skin protected and i will see you guys in the next one bye